Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do thumbnail like all the pros and all the good highlight editors do. So you've already seen the thumbnail in the, in the video before, like before this. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that. It's a pretty nice little effect and it's pretty simple too, but for this you will need sapphire plugins. So first thing what you want to do is you want to drag in your clip. After, after you create a new project of course, you want to drag in your clip. And then it says change or don't change, just click change. You could don't change either because we're going to be focusing on one frame anyways. But we're going to go ahead and find the frame of the kill. So obviously if you're editing a montage it would be this frame where the red dots appear. But we're not doing that. We're going to go ahead and find the frame where the name appears like in full transparency so not this i mean you could use this frame but we're going to be using this frame where the name is fully red and it is the first frame that it comes out um this is obviously not the real logo of course i am not that good but anyways we're going to go ahead and use this so first what you want to do is add in s underscore blurmo curves and i forgot to mention you will need sapphire plugins for this but most of you guys probably already have that so I'm going to go ahead and load in my preset right real quick and I'm going to show you the settings for it. So so you can see here that nothing happened yet. So how are we going to fix this? We're going to keyframe it. Um, first what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to the frame of the thumbnail. Just keyframe that. Make sure the distance is 0.8. And here are all the settings by the way. Uh, 0.8 distance, 1.5. Uh, shutter duration and then 0.19 this one here and the brightness is 1.4 or 1.3 so again thumbnail uh keyframe z distance here and then we're going to go left one frame and we're going to keyframe it again and change it to one so here you can see that motion blur parts of this and pretty nice but here that you can see the thumbnail i mean the name is very blurred so we're just going to go ahead and fix this real quick by adding a polygon. So what po this polygon does is it is a mask. We're going to go ahead and mask out like the name here so that you can see the letters clearly. So boom, right there we have just box around that. And then you can see the effect is only on the name, which we don't want. So we're going to go ahead and click invert on this. And then here, if we don't select this, you can see that that does not look good. So we're just going to go ahead and put up the soft edge a tad bit. So right there, that's pretty nice. Oh, uh, the edge is pretty seamless and we can see the name very clearly as well. So next we're going to go ahead and add an S underscore glint. And you can see here that this is very bright. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this to 0 0.02, which is the setting I should be using. So you can see here that it doesn't really add anything, but it just kind of makes it a little tad bit brighter and it looks a little better. And lastly, what we're going to do add is we're going to go add in color corrector. This is built into your DaVinci, so you won't need to download this, but just add in color corrector. And what we're going to do with this, we're going to change the saturation all the way to two so that you can see here that like it makes everything a lot more brighter, which is good for thumbnails. You don't want this for the entirety of your montage, but this looks pretty good for a thumbnail and yeah that's pretty much it next we're just going to go back to the edit tab and make sure your um, make sure you don't have um quarter resolution on because you're going to be taking a screenshot of this just go ahead and extend this out and drag that in and we're just going to take a screenshot of this i mean you could obviously do other methods but i feel like this is good enough so just do whatever you need to do to take a screenshot. For me, it's I have a screenshot or tool that I downloaded. I'll link it in the description as well. But yeah, this is the screenshot being tool. We're just gonna go ahead and drag along this, and then boom. We're just I'm just gonna go ahead and control save here, and then screenshot 15. Boom. This is gonna be the final result. So yeah. This looks pretty nice in my opinion, and it won't be too big for your YouTube upload because I know that's like an issue sometimes. It's greater than two megabytes. This won't be. So yeah, that looks pretty nice, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope this helped you out, and peace, guys. See you in the next one. Subscribe too. Follow my Twitter.